Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel once again. In my last video, I had shown you how to upload emails using Flutter mobile apps and how we did that to upload that emails to our 5 base storage as you can see here in the I mean inside the 5 base storage. But in this video, I will be explaining you how you can convert our mobile app into a Flutter web app. Watch this video till the end to get the full knowledge. If you are new to my YouTube channel, then you can subscribe this channel and you can also press the bell icon so that you can get the notification as soon as I upload my next videos. So let's start coding without wasting much time. As per the last videos, we had seen how you uploaded the videos or uh, uh, sorry the emails into our file storage. So let's jump to the VS Code and, uh, and let's close this app or let's terminate this app to convert our mobile app into a flutter one for that we have these following steps you can go through these steps and you can do one by one so let me close this app first first of all we have to go to this location of this project and Inside this project, what we have to do? Open a command prompt or a terminal. Then you have to type Flutter channel. It will show you which on which channel you are currently. As you can see, this is on beta channel and the master is there and stable is there. For your information, stable channel is for the mobile app version and beta is for your web version and master is for our mobile web version also. So we'll have to, for this we no need to change the channel. If you want to change this channel back, Now you can see the channel has been switched to stable version. We have to switch it back to the beta version to convert our app into web version. Let's do that again. So let me go and type flutter channel beta. If you run the flutter channel command once again, you will see that our channel has been switched back to our beta version, which is used for our flutter web now you can see our channel has been switched back to beta version now our next step is to change our config to flutter web or we have to enable the web configuration to do that what we can do flutter and enable web version it says that uh, setting enable web value to true you may need to restart your editors like vs code i have opened so i'll i'll go and i'll close it so i have closed it and i'm i'll go to my projects directory and i'll open with my vs code now if i go and see you can see here there is a web folder and index.html is there this if this folder is generated it means that your app has been converted to flutter web version and the next step is that we have to upgrade the dependencies suppose one plugin might not work in your uh, web version if you are using if you are converting your app into a web version for that we will have to run a flutter upgrade flutter upgrade command it will just we try to download or try to get the latest dependencies that you have on your popspec.yml file now the next step is to create a web folder if you go ahead and uh, if you go ahead and run this command flutter create dot it will create a folder with the web version and where you can modify your files like man.dart has to be there man.js is to be created and others are there now the flutter web version conversion is completed we can just go ahead and run it so that we can check whether our app is converted or not it says 
it will ask you to choose on which browser you want to run so i'll go ahead and uh, we'll choose with two option it says launching mandatory dart on chrome in debug mode so it will it will launch our application in our chrome browser so just wait for one minute and it will launch for us now our app is starting on the browser you can see the app is started but nothing is visible here let's see is there any error or not here is there any error error assassin failed fibers call web fibers call web dot dot 207 let's go back to our web version of spec dot yml file yes in at this point it is throwing error that this package is not actually useful for the web version so what we can do we can go ahead and to our pop.dev website and look for this package of web version i'll show you here you can see there is a five score web we'll have to add this package in order to use in order to work with the firebase so this is why it is saying that it didn't work or it throw error saying that this plugin is not working or this plugin is not actually useful for the web version you can see this is the line 207 it means it says that this package is not compatible with the web version. Let me go to app. Now it has successfully updated. Let's rerun our app. To close this app or to terminate, just press Ctrl and C. It will terminate our app. Let's go here and run our app. Insert from our VS code. So, uh, Type the same command. Flutter run. Flutter run. And it will ask you to choose your browser. Press 2. Let's see whether this time it's going to launch our website completely without any error or still it is going to give us any error. Now the app is launched. Let's wait whether we will get our widgets completely on the screen or not. Still this time we got some error. Let's see what's the error in the console. The error says that 5 options cannot be null when creating the default app. The root cause of this app is that uh, in our main.dart file, we will have to add one properties in our initialize method. Let me go and show you what. If you come back to your main.dart file inside your main method, you can observe that we are ensuring the initialization and we are initializing our Firebase. Inside this Firebase initialize app, it will accept one properties called options. We have to provide this options properties in order to work for Flutter web smoothly without any failure. So let's go and add these properties. What are the properties I'll be showing you? So these options can be added like this. Like we have, uh, let me just reformat this one. It requires one API key, another is app ID, one mess. Uh, and another is messaging sender ID and project ID. From where we can get this one, we will get we can get these details from our Firebase project. Let me take you to the Firebase project here. Suppose uh, suppose if you are on a home page, you can click on this gear icon and it will take you to the project settings. And you can see here we have a project ID. Just copy it and go back to our mentor.file 
and paste it there. Similarly, we need API key. For API key, we can go back to our section here. Okay, sorry. Here at this, if you just scroll down, I mean just below th below to our Flutter uh, project ID, you can see this is a web API key. API key is nothing but your web API key. Go add here on the API key section. Similarly, we can get app ID from our project setting on the below. Here you can see this is the app ID which you can add in our application. And the messaging sender ID I don't need at this moment so I am leaving it blank. Let's save it. To reload your app you have to press either shift R or only R. Hold reload doesn't work in your Flutter web if you only save the file and you accept the app to reload. It doesn't work in that way. You have to manually uh, type R or press Ctrl uh, Shift plus R. I just pressed Shift plus R. Let's see whether our page is going to be loaded or not. Yes, now our app is converted into our Flutter web. You can see it is running on our browser and you can see our previous code example. So this is the way you can convert your Flutter app into your Flutter web version and you can do anything that you want to achieve from your app code. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you have any doubts or if you have any queries related to this Flutter web conversion then you can ping me on the comment section below and I will try to help you out. In my next video I will show you how you can upload the image in our Flutter web.